Time for the Grand National now in four mile, three and a half furlongs. Of course, there's a grade three handicap. And the top one is largely for the National, Joshua Sutherland. A fleet lip for James Shea. In der Nacht, Leon van Rensburg, Lord of the National for Joshua Sutherland. Die Bansche Man, Alex Cherry, Zobadiah Cezanne, David Robertson, Sunday Mock, Thomas Rogers. Sensitive Jules Craig Allen, High Edge Grey, John Morgan, Panzer Martin Leadham. Enemy Flight, Darren Thompson. Camp Compact Bonnie, James Shea. Furs in the Hill, John Morgan. Inga Bird, Darren Thompson. Fearless, Amy Ryan, Tamasebi. Victory Heights, David Hooley. Eyes of the World, Leon van Rensburg. Clara Poos, B. Fotheringham, Kentish. For C. Beckwith, Moonsell Tavern for David Robertson, Dictate Ross Martin, the Elevated Splore for Craig Allen, Opa Safari, Ryan Costello, Lexington Regal, Vinnie Gerard, Last Suspect, Graham Clutterbuck, Superior Ninja, Derek Hinton, Natural Mont Castle, Vinnie Gerard, and Taya Cobra, B. Fotheringham. They're being called in then, and away they go in the S07 Grand National. And the first one to show right over on the far side looks like Fearless Amy. High Edge Grey is also close up, so is Kentish and Natural Mont Castle. And Lexington Regal is also close up as well then, as they make their way now towards the first of the 30 fences then, and it's Kentish and enemy flight closest to us with Natural Mont Castle and Lexington Regal right over the far side being chased by Fearless Amy and High Edge Grey. And now it's over to Ryan Tamasebi. And it's Kentish and enemy flight in the lead as they come towards the first fence in the National. The front few over it safe, they're all over it safely. So first fence successfully navigated. Natural Mende Castle and Lexington Regal over towards the far side from the Vinnie Gerard colours as they come over the next. All over that one safely as well. Kentish and enemy flight on the near side. Natural Mende Castle, Lexington Regal over on the far side. A small gap then to Lord of the National, Joshua Sutherland's main Grand National fancy here as they all get over that one as well. So three fences successfully navigated by this full field of 28 for the National here as they come towards the fourth flight, the front pair over it safely. Oh, we've lost Taya Cobra towards the rear of the field, Ben Fotheringham's runners down. So it's enemy flight and Kentish that have moved on into a few lengths advantage over Natural Mente, Castle, Lexington, Regal. A break then to Lord of the National, Fearless Amy as they come over the next. Furzen Hill, High Edge Grey, Opus Safari towards the near side with Clara Plus, Superior Ninja, the grey horse in the pink silks, Fearless Amy in the red over towards the rail. Towards the rear of the field at the moment we've got Inga Bird, Elevated Splore and Sensitive Jewels, the two hopes for Craig Allen as they come over beaches for the first time and it's Kentish an enemy flight that still have the lead and they start to move in over towards the rail and join that Vinnie Gerard pair Lexington Regal Natural Mende Castle as they come over the next over Foynaven and all of them over that one safely it's Lexington Regal now that's moved up alongside enemy uh, flight and Kendish Natural Mende Castle there in fourth Furzen Hill travelling strongly there for John Morgan as they come over the canal turn and start to turn left-handed there. Really tight there, tight turn there. Moonsail Taverns, one that's unseated the rider. So it's still Kendish that has the lead. Lexington Regal, Natural Mende Castle and Enemy Flight as they come over Valentine's for the first time. And the rest of them got over that safely as well. So just looking for some of the other main challenges here. Uh, elevated support, sensitive jewels are both towards the rear of the field. Uh, just having a look for the... Joshua Sutherland and Leon Van Rensburg runners for some of the uh, two of the top stables there. Lord of the National just racing towards the middle of the pack alongside the Grey Horse uh, as they come over that next flight there. And a couple of them got over that really well. Indernacht is just racing uh, towards the middle of the pack, well, uh, the, the pack as well. Eyes of the World is racing alongside largely for the National. You know which race that one's targeted as they come over the next fence there. Uh, we've lost largely for the National. So just as I mentioned that one, Joshua Sutherland has lost one of his two contenders for the Grand National here. So he's going to be relying on Lord of the National as it's still Kendish that has the lead. From Lexington Regal, Natural Mende Castle, Enemy Flight is in fourth. Opus Safari, a winner of a fair few handicaps for Ryan Costello, but it'll really have to step up its game and produce its best ever effort here to land the National for the young Irish trainer. Uh, High Edge Grey, Clara Poo, Superior Ninja, Lord of the Nationals there. We've then got Sunday Mott's Fearless Amy in Den Acht for Leon Van Rensburg. Then we've then got Panzer and Dictate Ross. My fellow commentator Martin Leadham will be watching their jump. Every jump with bated breath as they come over the next. Uh, a mistake towards the rear of the field from Sensitive Jewels and 
and the way that one landed I think it might have affected a fleet Lipton at the moment compact Bonnie is the back marker Ingerbird also towards the rear of the field as they come towards the next Kentish got high and took off early there and there was a mistake from one of Martin Leadham's runners Dictate Ross got that one all wrong but managed to keep the partnership intact and uh, towards the rear of the field I think elevated support might have made a a uh, bit of a mistake as well, but it's still Kendish that has the lead from Lexington Regal, Natural Mende Castle, and Enemy Flight. This has been the front four for a while now as they come over the next. All of them navigated that one safely enough, so as they come past the pack stands, it's still Kendish in the lead from Lexington Regal, Natural Mende Castle, and Enemy Flight in a share of third. As they go over the water jump, I'm going to hand you back to Martin Leadham, who's going to call the rest of the national for you. All of them, bar three, still. In with a chance for the big one. Back to Martin Leader. 25 still standing in the National, then just lost the three so far. And Kentish is the leader from Lexington Regal in second, and Enemy Flight is in third. Then Natural Mont Castle is in fourth with Superior Ninja and Opus Safari, then Inder Nacht and Furzen Hill. Clara Puss is also in that leading group. Panzer closest to us, along with Victory Heights, as they make their way down towards the fence that was the first on the last circuit, with 25 of them still going strong. And Kentish is going to lead into this one from. Enemy Flight and Lexington Regal. Then comes Natural Amont Castle in fourth as they get over the 17th. Superior Ninja Furzen Hill, Opus Safari after that one. Then Clara Poos and Lord of the National. Inder Nacht is after that one. And then Fearless Amy and Zobadiah Cezanne. And then High Edge Grey and Panzer as they take the 18th. And all over that one, okay, with looking towards the back, Ingerbird, the back marker, but Kentish is in front by a couple of lengths, then racing down towards this big ditch. And it's Kentish who gets over it in the lead from Enemy Flight is over it in second as a fall of their last suspect has gone so last suspect becomes the fourth casualty in this year's Grand National then and Kentish continues to lead from Enemy Flight second as they get over the 20th then now down on its nose there was Zobadiah Cezanne also towards the back of the field compact body and a fleet lip didn't jump in all that well but it's Kentish and Enemy Flight disputing the lead as they come down to the one before Beaches then it's Kentish and Enemy Flight who land in the lead from in third place now Furzen Hill then Superior Ninja and Lexington Regal Clara Poos is after that one then comes uh, Inder Nacht is trying to get into it as well Opus Safari and Panzer as they race down towards Beaches Brook there were no casualties first time round as they come to it now for the second and final time it's Enemy Flight and Kentish who land together we see the field all stream over it they all got over it again no casualties at Beaches this year as they race down now then towards the Foynhaven fence and it's Enemy Flight and Kentish who continue to show the way to Lexington Regal and Furzen Hill. Then Superior Ninja and Clara Poos, Lord of the Nationals, trying to get into it. Panzer's creeping closer round the outside. Then comes in the Nacht. Fearless Amy is still there. So too's Opus Safari. Zobadiah Cezanne's trying to run on. Then Victory Heights. High Edge Grey's next as they take the canal turn. And over the canal they go. Dictate Ross down on his nose at the back. But Enemy Flight and Kentish are still setting the pace. And they're setting a decent pace as well. They lead. And in third place. Lexington Regal running a big race with Vinnie Gerald as they go. Oh, there's a crashing fall there for Panzer's gone at Valentine's. A crashing fall sees that one out of it. That's one of the fancied ones gone. And Enemy Flight is still in the lead then. So it's Enemy Flight from Kentish over the 26th. And over that one they go and they're beginning to bunch up top now. And I would say that he's probably just the back six or seven that are totally out of it. But it's Enemy Flight and Kentish racing down towards the fourth from home. This is the final ditch. It's Enemy Flight and Kentish who land in the lead from Furzen Hill and Superior Ninja. Then comes Clara Poos running a big race. Then Lexington Regal, England and Act. And De Bansherman's now trying to run on. Lord of the Nationals there as well. Victory Heights and Fearless Amy. Zobadiah Sedan's trying to get through as they get over the next. And that was the third from Oh, We lost one there. More John Morgan's High Edge Grey is gone. So that was the next one to go. Then it's Enemy Flight and Kentish with just two more fences to go. Crossing the Melon Road. They're about to swing towards home. They've got two more fences to go in the National. There's about 20 horses that could still win it. It's Kentish and Enemy Flight who've been in the lead all the way. But now Victory Heights. In the purple jacket comes through along with Zobadiah Cezanne. Then comes Nathalie and Montcastle, Furzen Hill, Opus Safari, Lord of the National trying to get into it. Running on now is Eyes of the World. They're coming down towards the second last. 
and it's Victory Heights in the purple jacket with Zobar I see that in the turquoise and purple hoops then comes Eyes of the World in third right over on the far side long time leader enemy flight over the second last they go and it's Zobar I see that is in front from Eyes of the World in second these two are now beginning to pull away from Victory Heights sensitive jewels and Lord of the National trying to run on enemy flight sticking on gamely then elevated Explorer and Superior Ninja they're coming out towards the final fence in the National and Eyes of the World lands in the lead but Zobar Isizan jumped in better and so Bazaar Cezanne is now coming up sides. They're neck and neck these two as they race past the elbow then. It's Eyes of the World closest to us. Zobar Cezanne on the far side. It's Leon Van Rensburg and David Robertson. They're racing now towards the final furlong. And it's Eyes of the World closest to us who's about a neck up. Zobar Cezanne is trying to close. It's a neck top racing up now towards the final half furlong. It's Eyes of the World. Zobar Cezanne. Eyes of the World looks the stronger. Zobar Cezanne's got nothing left and they race up towards the line and it's another grand match. Over Leon Van Rensburg. Eyes of the World takes it. Zoe and Icy down second. Then Lord of the National Compact Bonnie. Enemy flight. Furs and Hill. The Bancher Man. Inga Bird. Inda Nash never got into it. Dictate Ross made mistakes. And a massive amount of finishes. But it's another one. Another Grand National for Leon Van Rensburg. Zoe and Icy down so close for David Robertson. And they were a good six lengths clear of the rest of them. So Eyes of the World takes it then. I don't think it had got the best form in the race, but it certainly ran the best race today. So Eyes of the World takes it for Leon Van Rensburg. Zobadiah Cezanne for David Robertson second. Lord of the National, Joshua Sutherland third. Compact Bonnie ran on well for James Shea to be fourth. And Furs and Hill for John Morgan running really well in fifth on its seasonal reappearance. Looking down the card there, Debancher Man ran his usual good race. Elevated Splore got round today, but didn't really get into it. And neither did Sensitive Jewels. Fearless Amy didn't do a lot. Kentish and Lexington Regal were up there for a bit. Clara Poose also ran a big race for B Fotheringham before dropping out. And there it is then. That's your Grand National for this season. And it's Eyes of the World and Leon Van Rensburg that take the spoils.